Hello guys, welcome back to new video. So in this video, uh, we are going to talk about uh, uh, whether in this year 2021 you should purchase Samsung Galaxy Note 9 device. So let me give you some basic information about the Note 9 device. So this device which you see here with me, it is uh, it is the device which I am using since last one month. And one of our family members have been using this device since last 2.5 years, since its launch day. It was here in in our house uh, within the within uh, within the first week of its launch. So this device is available in three colors. You can check it out at resellers or uh, on uh, or on Samsung's website. And it has two variant. The first one is of six GB six GB variant, which has an internal storage of one twenty eight GB, which can be expanded up to five hundred five hundred and twelve GB with SD card. And the other one has eight GB RAM. Which can be exp uh, which has a base storage of 512 GB, which can be expanded up to one terabyte with the help of SD card. So this was the basic uh, uh, basic uh, knowledge. Now I'm going to tell you everything, like whether you should purchase this device now in this year or not, uh, along with the few uh, few basic knowledge which you, which you should have about this de device. I'm not going to talk about key. How much is its uh, front uh, front camera megapixel? How much is the back camera megapixel? No, I will just discuss about how how is the quality and uh, its its battery capacity is four is four thousand milliampere and it ha this has a six point four inch uh, six point four inch display and uh, there uh, in this de this device has a super a super AMOLED display. So one thing that I want to share with you and just be careful when you purchase this, uh, this device. If you are purchasing a second hand device then make sure that your device does not look this way. Right? Uh, actually I am recording this on 1080p. So you are you all are not go, not able to see the see the app impressions inside it. Now I, I will change the video setting to 4k 60fps. So maybe you will be uh, able to see. I hope you, yes yes you can see here this this impressions app impressions right here and now here these two impressions logo. So this should not happen in with your dis, uh, device. Point is key on continuous use uh, usage uh, such impressions uh, appear on super AMOLED uh, super AMOLED display. So there is not much problem in it. Uh, the device functions better uh, other way. And I have shared with you about the storage and capacity, and uh, it weighs around 201 gram, which is uh, which is like quite okay. There is no issue. But if you are uh, using a protective case by Samsung, the grey one, uh, if possible, then I will show you uh, here in this video or on you can check it out on my Instagram uh, Instagram page. Uh, link is in the description box. Uh, there you can see. Actually, if you uh, use with that case then weight is uh, weight is much more and uh, Samsung says that uh, with always on display off audio backup is of 95 hours and with uh, always on display on audio playback time is of 59 hours then you you get talk time of around 29 hours and more than that if you are a 4G user and battery capacity I have already shared a video pay, uh, playback time is around of 20 hours and now let me uh, share with you important thing which is uh, which is uh, the pricing if you are considering purchasing the 6 GB variant with 128 GB storage then it will cost you around 58,000 to 59,000 and if you are considering purchasing 8 GB variant with 512 GB as base storage then it uh, its uh, like cost will be a uh, will be around sixty seven to sixty eight thousand or more than that. Uh, yes. So let's talk about its battery performance. I charge it once a day, and uh, my like uh, average use per day is of six to seven hours. Or uh, if there is much workload, then eight to nine hours, and not more than that. So on uh, uh, if I use it for around six to seven hours per day, then uh, if I've charged it uh, till. Uh, uh, till 100% or 98, 99% then then on continuously or like on a break using it for around 6 to 7 hours the battery which is left in the smartphone is between 38, 39% to 49 or 50% so overall battery is good and if you are not a heavy user, a user who needs to uh, continuously make uh, make a YouTube videos or record content then this device is perfect and now let's talk about the camera quality when I talk about the camera quality yes the camera is, is still the best there is no issue in camera quality but uh, while recording video I, f I personally feel that quality should be little bit more like there should be more options like 
रिकॉर्डिंग इन फोर के और फोर के सिक्सटी एफ पी एस और टेन एटी पी और टेन एटी पे सिक्सटी एफ पी एस विच इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन दिस डिवाइस बट इन अदर वन प्लस डिवाइसेस लाइक वन प्लस सिक्सटी फ्रॉम विच आई एम नाउ रिकॉर्डिंग दिस वीडियो सो ओवरऑल देर इज नो इश्यू इन दिस डिवाइस इफ यू आर विलिंग टू स्पेंड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टू सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड ऑन दिस डिवाइस एंड यू वॉन्ट अ डिवाइस विच हैज अटाइलस विद इट स्टाइलस Yes, then you can easily go go ahead with with device. Then you can easily go ahead with device. The reason behind that is ki we don't know whether five G five G enabled stylus devices like Note series device will be launched or not. Already have, we have uh, we have a stylus in the S twenty one Ultra, but we uh, like we are not yet sure whether uh, it will be coming. Uh, in the future, like twenty one, twenty twenty one Note series. So yes, if you want a Samsung device, basically which is having a stylus to to make stuff or do your work or maybe related to art or something, yes, then this device is good. This device is value for money. And if I were there at your place and five G was purchasing a five G and shelling out around fifty five thousand to seventy thousand on on a on a smartphone for my personal use, then. I would really prefer this device, and there is no issue in this device. It's been like two point five or two point six years now. I I know this device, and uh, it's been around for thirty five to forty days. I'm using this de this device, and overall overall experience is is uh, is really good. But what disappoints me is when it comes to gaming. I remember this device was charged at around hundred percent, and I did continuous gaming of fifteen minutes, and the battery percentage. dropped from 100 to 70 to 73 within just 15 minutes and the phone literally uh, literally heats up when you do intense gaming but there is no issue in smartphone heating up no pro no problem uh, it is just your processor emitting heat so it is not uh, uh, harming your device uh, in any way but it is just the heat emitting which makes the which makes the back glass uh, back glass hot there is no issue in it so one thing which disappointed me is when it comes to gaming Yes, yet this is a best device when it comes to gaming, but uh, it could have been more good. And uh, camera quality is also good, but if there was a, a little bit of more quality when it comes to video recording, then yes, then then I would say this is a better choice for you. So that's all in the video. Here we have discussed whether in this year 2021 you should purchase Note 9 device or not. In future coming videos, we will, uh, we will be discussing about Note 10, Note 10 Lite, Note 10 Plus, and all of the devices. Uh, so just stay tuned with the video. Follow on Instagram if you have any doubt and you want any tech help. Uh, if I can solve it, then I then you are welcome. Please uh, do ask me on Instagram uh, or on 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 uh, mail ID or on my mail ID. or on the youtube comment section so thank you so much for watching this video we have more uh, uh, good videos coming ahead in future so before i end this video let me tell you one thing if you want to purchase this device and you are ready to shell around 55000 to 70000 and one more important thing one more important thing if you don't care much about the, this not being a 5g device yes uh, like uh, around the corner by fall 2021 maybe hopefully 5G will be available in India, and most of the most of the ones who wants to switch from their 4G SIM card to 5G SIM card, they need to purchase a new smartphone which has 5G. So this device will not support your 5G SIM card. If you if you want to spend so, so much of uh, amount, then 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 uh, it at the end it uh, it's up to you. If you don't care much about 4G 5G difference, then yes, you can go ahead with this device. This is value for money. and just look after the look after if you are purchasing the second hand device just look after uh, this uh, amoled issue this uh, amoled display issue i don't know whether you are able to see it or not yes this uh, amoled display issue like this should not happen with you so that's it in the video thank you so much for watching the video subscribe to our channel share this video share with everyone you know and hit the bell icon follow on instagram thank you so much